guys, Obi here, and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Town. Over here, as you might be able to clearly see because you're probably looking at your screen right now, we are currently in our desert zone. Now, you're probably questioning yourself, Obi, what in the heck are you doing out in the desert, man? What are you even going to do out here? Well, well, I'm going to do more user suggestions. And hold on, first of all, let me see if I can rotate this in one go. Oh, it worked! Okay, bring it this way. There we go. Okay, so there's been way too many suggestions for one person to handle here, but I'm doing my best here, and we're just gonna knock them off the list one at a time. Um, so today, I think we're gonna be making ourselves a nice little farm, but where do we want to put the farm at? Hmm, maybe out in the desert, you know, away from the population, but not too far away, but a far enough away, you know? I'm thinking maybe we'll come out like here, and go in a little bit, and the farm can be in this cor corner over here. So first things first, we need grounds. Let's see here, we're gonna take this road here. Okay, it's a nice little uh, dirt road here. And we're gonna bring it out like that. Is this the right road to be using, by the way? I, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me double check something here, let me, let me see something here. Yes, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. So that's gonna go there, and we're just gonna expand this out, whoops. Uh oh, what, what? Get that out of there. Okay, shrink it down, and now expand it out this way. It's gonna be a straight line here. We're going pretty far out, guys. We're making this a very big city here. It's gonna be like a grand thing. You have no idea. Now, delete that. Okay, go to the roads here, and we're gonna take this bad boy here, like this. Boop. Maybe like that. Does that look weird? Hmm, I want like a bigger one of these, you know? But maybe this could work. These are like supposed to be plow lines, I believe. Okay, instead of that, we'll take a four-way lane here, like this, and then we'll have it come out the be over here. And this will be the farm. Or maybe it'll be a big farm, you know, like an industrial farm. Maybe a big old family ran farm. You know, grandma, grandpa, the kids, the grandkids, everybody helps out of this farm, so maybe we can make it really big, like, Maybe like animals over here and crops and stuff over here. And this is how that family makes their living. And they have the safety of knowing that they're right across the street from a huge military base, but they're not too close. So the sounds don't annoy the pigs and stuff like that. They have a little space there, but that's also good because the military people say they want some milk for their cereal. They come over here, they can get milk straight from the cow. That's how that works. Okay, so these are how the roads are gonna work, I think. I'm kinda just winging it and making it up as I go. I'm not really too sure what I'm doing yet, but I do know I want large, dark dirt. That's small, I need large. You know what, guys? On second thought, I decided to bring it out a little bit further here, and the farm's gonna be more on this side, and we're gonna try to make some kind of, like, cactus area and mountains over here. Because I was thinking about it, it's a little too close to a military base. You know, I don't think the sheeps and the, the horses would appreciate, you know, tanks firing lasers in their eardrums all day, you know? So I pushed it back a little bit. I need to find... Ooh... A barn. Oh, little, little windmills, little sheds. Okay, we got all the materials we need here, but I do need some ground. I need brown, brown dirt, but not red. I need brown dirt. Oh, this is perfect. Large, dark dirt. Okay, so let's see. That's going to actually be on this side here. One side is going to be for animals. One other side is going to be for crops and stuff. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that piece there. That that needs to be a, a, a T road or whatever it's called here. So, uh, uh, farm. <laughs> uh, we're going to over here to T. Boop. That way, we don't want people coming through here. Or do we? This should be a dirt road. How can I? I want to do this really bad, but it just doesn't seem to fit, does it? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, okay, I guess if you want to play it like that game, that'll work just fine then. Boop. There we go. That's good, I think. Okay, so this side is going to be crops. So we need some kind of some kind of crops. Cabbages, carrots, corn. Corn, yes. Oh, 
maize. We got different kinds of corns here. We got seedlings. Carrots. Okay. Let's start plowing some crops here. Maybe not that close. We want to get it like right there. No, one more back. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got to actually delete all this, don't I? Okay, that makes... Uh-oh. Is it not going to fit right? Wait a minute. Hold on, boys. Something is awry here. You would do this to me, little cropling. You would. Okay. There's got to be a way to fix this, though. So I'll make one roll like this. Actually, take that away there and there. And I think I'm going to do... Take this out here. This is going to be a, a work in progress here. Clearly, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I hope you guys don't mind. I want to move this down one. Yeah, we're going to go down one like that. So, give it a little space in between, yeah? Absolutely. Something like that. And maybe... Does that fit in between? No, it sure doesn't. Uh, these are pl this is plowed dirt. I'm not ready for that yet. Not, I'm not there yet, okay? I'm not there. Ah, perfect. That's what the small block is for. Now it all makes sense to me. There we go. That looks... I forgot a spot. Hold on. There we go. As I was saying, that looks a whole lot better. And I just realized I was looking the wrong way the whole time. And you guys were just staring at my butt cheeks. Guys, stop looking at my butt, dude. Jeez. Stop it. You weirdies. I'm just kidding. That was my fault. Okay, let's see here. We need fences. Crops? Oh. Okay. I'm not a farming expert, and I don't know what to do here, but I'm going to figure it out. Okay. Maybe what we'll do here... These are small. Jeez, I made a big plot of land, didn't I? Put this here. Okay. Yes, I know exactly what I want to do now. I have got the plan. We are going to take plowed dirt, like so. Come down one like this, and one out like that. Keep it all even. Plowed dirt. And we're going to pretend... Why is it not connecting there, though? That bothers me. Okay, okay. Fix yourself, game. Fix yourself before you wreck yourself, game. No, eh? There we go. So this guy is currently plowing the land, right? Is that what he's doing? That's why it's not in front of him completed yet. He's still plowing that part of the land. Oh, wait. I think that was a harvester. I think that was a combine tractor I was using. I need to use this thing. This plows the land. So that goes there. We'll get a nice red tractor. It goes like this. And then that goes like this. So that actually... I think that's how that works. He drives forward and it stays on that, like that angle there. I'm pretty sure that's how they made me do it in Farming Simulator. Guys, as normal, if I'm wrong about this stuff and I'm driving you guys crazy, just let me know down in the comments. Just like y'all do with the airplanes and some other things. And you know me. I'll eventually go back and fix it, but I think that looks pretty... Oh, right. <laughs> I ate it. <laughs> okay, guys, so I kind of tweaked it a little bit here. I made one full plow line here. And then I started the second one here. And that way it looks a little bit more like he's been working all day. Working out in the fields. Plowing the land. Let's go back up here. Let's get some ground. We're going to make a cabbage place, yeah? Okay, so we got carrots. Unseeded stuff. Yeah, he's still plowing the land. And carrots are going to go, like, right here, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, cabbage is going to go right here. I caught myself. See? Yeah. See? I was talking about carrots. I had carrots on the mine here. And, uh... No. It, this is cabbage. We're putting the cabbages here. Cabbage goes down here. There we go. Now we got carrots. Uh, we're still haven't planted anything here. We got cabbages. Should we do another row? Should we do corn? I think corn is a necessity in any farm in place. So let's start a corn. We're going to do one row of corn, I think. One row of corn. Like right there. There we go. That looks perfect. Look at that. Okay, this farm is looking really good. This looks like a real farmland. Okay, now we need some equipment out here. We got enough ground. We need farming equipment. Let's see here. What are we going to use? Let's see, maybe it'll be under buildings. We got people. Oh, yeah, we need someone... Someone driving a tractor, yeah? Ah, you know why he's not moving? Because he stopped real quick. He's taking a break. Wow, I made this farm really big, didn't I? Let's go ahead and pose him. He's, uh... Like, whew! Oh, man, I got a hand on the hip a little bit. Well, let me see if I can get a little bit better here. Gotta use this, my dominant hand. Let's see, put a hand. 
He's wiping off his brow, hand on the hip. He's like, whoa, jeepers. Put his foot up a little bit. He's kind of leaning on his tractor. Okay. All right, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. Oh, jeez. Okay. He's just leaning on his tractor a little bit, taking a little break. <laughs> that looks really good. Okay, that's cool. We got to stop posing our people. Let's see here. What else is going on? Okay, we got a bunch of people here. I'm not ready for the animals yet. Let's go to the items. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, a giant carrot. Scarecrows. Yes, we need scarecrows, guys. Scarecrows are a fundamental part of any, any kind of crops. You need scarecrows. It just keeps the crows away from eating your corn and your cabbages and all sorts of stuff. Maybe, like, we get them at different angles here, you know, so they're not all the same. I know scarecrows can be kind of scary sometimes, but trust me, scarecrows are your friends. <laughs> See, the crows don't come to the crops because they think the scarecrows are real people. So they stay away, but sometimes crows can be pretty smart, and they know that they're fake. But that's okay. These crows will probably know that they're fake, and if I could put crows in here, I'm going to put crows in here. <laughs> so let's see, we're going to need some fences here, like this. I think we're going to fence around, starting like right here, maybe. Is it going to go to the ground for me? Sure will. All right. Look at this, guys. Because we don't want it to be flush. We want to have a little turn room for our, our tractor dude, right? He wants to be able to come over here and turn. We're not worrying about hitting the fence. It is a little close, but he should be able to manage. Oh, I hit a wall. Okay, so there we go. I went ahead and put a fence around the entire thing. There's actually no way to get in here yet. So we got to remove some in the middle here. Maybe something like that. Okay, so that's how they're going to get in there. What does this say? Ranch sign. Ooh. We get a little bigger here. Watch this. Look at this. This is the family ranch, guys. Oh, that fits almost perfect. Let me shrink that a little bit. It's a little big. Put it right there, maybe? That could work. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks great. It's just a little ranch. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um, I'm a little concerned about this little fence here, though. Guys, I think something like that is perfect. Okay, uh, this little part right here. Um, it's supposed to connect to these fences here, but I wanted this to be big. I want people driving by to be like, whoa, that's a ranch. Someone lives there. Let's be respectful and not go in there. So that's what we got going on there. This is looking really good. Guys, this is a huge farm, by the way. It might not look at when I'm shrinking down, but holy moly, guys. Look at this. We're in a farm. Look at this little dude right here. Let's go check him out. What's up, dude? <laughs> he's, he's like, whoa, man. Whoa, Nelly, Nelly. I'm a little pooped out here. Look at him on there. There we go. The, kind of resting up on that tire there, wiping off his eyebrows from the sweat and the hard days at work here. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I like this a lot. Um, whoa, too far. Oh, geez, here we go. Let's get a little bit big, not too big though. So now over here is where we're gonna keep the animals. Um, let's see here. How are we gonna do this? What is this? This is a pig pen. This is a pig pen right here. Okay, this is gonna help us a lot. So we're gonna get, oh yeah, let me put my snapping back on here. Boop, bop, there we go. Um, pig pens, we're gonna have two pig pens. A little bit away from each other, so the pigs aren't like, well, I guess the pigs could be close to each other, right? No, I want them to be far away. I wanna put some trees in here. Ooh, orange trees, that's pretty. Um, do we have apple trees? We have a lemon tree I just saw. Is this a cabbage tree? Apple tree, yeah. Lemon tree, what? Okay. Oh, these pigs are gonna live the life, guys. We'll do another one here. A little separation as well. Same thing. Guys, this is looking fabulous. Okay, this is looking awesome. Okay, so flip it like this. There we go. I'm getting better at that. Go to... Not people. Is it? Is pigs under people? No. No, that'd be... Oh, it is. Okay. Pigs are under people. Who would have known? We gotta have a lot of pigs here. You know? Like, maybe like four... Oh, this is so cute, guys. Four pigs. This one's gonna be drinking a little bit of water here. He's like, eh. Oh, he's, oh, okay. Okay, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Let me let me get the snapping off for you. Hold on. Yeah. This guy's drinking out of water. This guy's up there, you know, kind of climbing a little bit. Like, Wee. This one's just kind of winking around. That guy's hiding in the shed a little bit. You know, just living his life, living his pig life, guys. Get some more pigs in here. This guy's actually playing in the water. He's having a good old time. 
Hold on, we got a crazy pig. This pig's like up here. Like, whoa, whoa, jeepers, jeepers. I'm just hanging out on the roof, guys. Don't worry. Pigs can jump really high. There, right, one more pig in there. There we go. Let's face them the other way like that. Get these pigs a little diversity, you know? So let's see here. Who's this? This is a farm child. He's over here. Oh, hold on. Put snapping on. Hold on, buddy. He's over here. And he's just over here, like, you know, tricking out the pigs. Whoops. I made a whole bunch of farm trials. I don't want to do that. He's pointing at him. He's like, that's my favorite. And then he's like, tee -hee. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Okay, he's just a happy little farm child. Like, I love you, little piggers. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This is a farmer. This is, um, Grandma. She's, like, making sure everything's going good. She's got her hands on her hips a little bit. You know, she's a little, she's a little bit, like, mm -hmm. You know, dinner's almost ready, Sonny. You know, whoa, I broke her blouse. Put that back together. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. She's like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that's not how she sounds, but... She's just kind of hanging out, you know, with the kid. Making sure everything's going good. Supervising, making sure the pigs are happy and healthy. Got another farm child here, and he's just kind of, you know, is it a he? This one's a she, and she's just like, whoo, holding on to her hat because the wind's blowing. Whoa, jeez, hold on to your hat. Okay, there we go. So everyone's over here taking care of the pigs, guys. The pigs are being well taken care of today. Let's see, what is that? Is that a bandit? Oh, it's a rancher. <laughs> I thought it was like a burglar or something. Okay, we need more, um, more buildings, please. Every barn has a windmill. That is like the staple of a barn. I don't know where they go in a farm or a barn or whatever, but I know anytime I see a movie with a farm, they have like one or two of these. So let's see. Farmhouse. Yes, this is where they're going to be living at. We're going to need a barn. I want a red barn. Obviously, red barns are needed. What else we got here? It's another barn. It's a smaller barn. We want a big one. Ooh, some outhouses where they take their duties. We're going to do, do two of them. Normally, they only have one, but I'm going to be generous and put two. A shed, absolutely need a shed for the vehicles. And maybe two sheds, because this is a big farm. We're gonna add more people too. We might even do another house as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do another house. Is there a green one? Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's the one I already have. Okay, I like the color of that one. That's caught my eye. Maybe this, yeah, I want different colors in here, definitely. I want it to all stand out differently. Okay, this is good. Ooh, look at this barn here. This is the biggest barn I've seen. Yeah, I want this one. I want that one. I want the red one, though, not the orange one. I want the red one. Okay. 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 Let's see if I can figure this out. So over here in the corner is going to be where the tools have been kept. This is where we're going to keep the tractor tools. Let's get some vehicles now. This is coming along nicely. I thought this was going to be really hard to do, but no. This is actually pretty easy. Uh, the truck's over here in the middle. The truck isn't being used yet. Okay, tractors. Okay, I thought this would be smaller, but that's okay. We need a hay baler. You know, blue for blue. Got another tractor in here. We already got a hay baler. The plow's being used. We need... No, you know, we don't need another tractor. We need a combine tractor. That's what we need here. Is that gonna fit? That's a little big, so that'll go right here. Maybe we'll make some kind of tarp over it. So it doesn't, like, the weather doesn't mess it up. Ah, a tractor with a bulldoze plow thingy on the front of it. Okay, no, not blue one. We already got a blue one. We want, we got green, we want red this time. Yeah, we want red this time. Okay, 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 I like this. And we're gonna get one more of these, because... Yeah, we want two of these, right? I'll go in there. How's that looking from the back? Everything looks good, flush, perfect. And then we want something to cover this tractor up as well. We'll come back to covering this up in just a pinch here. What I want to do is actually start pulling my fence around here. Yeah? I want to get my fence all the way around here. There we go, guys. How's that look? Pretty good, right? I put the fence around the whole entire place here. Yeah! It's looking good! That's a nice looking farm so far. We got the- Oh, jeez, I'm really pleased with how this is looking. You have no idea. So let's see, obviously the house is gonna be a little bit back here. We're gonna have one house there. Okay. The second house, because two families live here. I mean, they're all family, but like cousins, you know, we got the mom, dad, the brother, the son, the granddaughter, the family, the cousins, the, the second cousin, the third cousins, and you know, it's just, 
A lot of people live in here, okay? It's quite ridiculous. We got the barn over here. I think I want the barn to be kind of in the middle. Kind of like that. We're gonna have some multiple trucks here, too. One's gonna be under there. We're gonna need some vehicle trucks, like, you know, just getting around town trucks, you know? Not everything has to be a farm truck. Vehicles, well, maybe. Yeah, one like this, like a, like a flatbed truck, exactly what I want here. Maybe one right there. Maybe a, uh, a green one over here, kind of matched the greenhouse, yeah? Ooh. Lined up perfectly, too, look at that. And let's see, we're gonna go to two town vehicles here. You know, because the kids live here, you know, and the kids like something cool, like a little sedan. Whoops, I hit a wall there. Where am I? Okay, put that. That's where the kid, the kid parks over here. And, you know, the mom, this is the mom's car. She's parking over there. You know, lots of people live here, guys, okay? The whole thing going on over here. You know, dad went out and bought his own tow truck as well. And just in case a piece of uh, equipment broke down and he needed to tow it one day. You know, it's actually, the tow truck can go over here. Put it in there. Perfect. Everything's up to snuff right now. Everything's working perfectly right now. So there's no need, you know, for a tow truck. Actually, move this. Okay, hold on. Switch this up a little bit. Move this here. Move this here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to be, like, too symmetrical. I kind of want it to be a little bit, like, like actual people parked, you know? So it wouldn't be perfect. It wouldn't be super straight, you know? It'd be kind of crooked a little bit here. Maybe not that crooked, but... Yeah. Yeah, no. Maybe my aunt drove that one. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. But it's true. Porta potties. Over here. There we go. And one for each house. A little separation, a little privacy here. Let's get some trees now. Okay, so we got the fundamentals down. We got the barn in the middle here. We got the little tractor shelter. We got the two houses. We got the vehicles. We got some trees. We got the plows. We got the pigs. We got some more trees. Now we need chickens. We need chicken coops. Yes, but what color? Maybe one color of each will do. Maybe two of, like, okay, I want, like, one of these, two of those, and two of those. That's how I want to do it. Okay. So the chickens will go over here-ish. And the chickens will be blocked in by a nice white fence, you know? Something a little different here. A little bit different here. Like this. Like that. Chickens will have a lot of room to play, too. This is a chicken play pen, pretty much. One more out like that, and then we'll suck this one in like that. There we go! Chickens have a lot of room to play now. Whoops. Check it out, guys! Look at their little chicken house! That's looking really good, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna need a water tower somewhere, too. Uh, what is this, a wheelbarrow? I guess a wheelbarrow is important. Let's put one there for now. We'll come back to that stuff, I'm not too sure. Now we're gonna need... I don't think chickens drink out of troughs, but they need water, right? I don't know how that works, I'm not a farmer. Lots of water, though. The chickens will never, never not have water. These chickens live in luxury, let me tell you. Just take one out like that. One out like that. There we go. That's perfect. Now, chickens eat seeds, right? Chicken feed. So I made it a little bigger than normal, guys. Chicken feed's not normally this big. But we have a lot of chickens to feed. And I want to make sure my chickens are very healthy and happy. Being happy is the number one key. Do I need this? I want one of these. That's for later. Being happy in my farm is the number one thing for my chickens, okay? We got some white chickens, brown chickens, you know, got a lot of baby chicks. Ooh, lots of baby chicks. Get in there, little baby. Okay, make this bigger. I can't even see what... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Too big. Oh, oh, eh. There we go. That's a little better. These chickens are tiny. Jeez. I'm pretty sure these chickens could jump that, uh gate if they wanted to, but these are well-behaved chickens. What is this? What's oh, a rooster. Do roosters go in chicken pens? I don't think they do. What is this? That's a duck. I don't think ducks go in there either. That chicken's up there. This chicken's here. It's, oh, it's a chicklet. I don't want the chicklets up there, okay? Chicklets? No, thank you. Not on the roof. You're too young for that. Okay. And we've got chickens in the feed. Look at, look at the chicken feed. Jesus, huge. Feeds like 90 chickens. Goodness gracious. Okay. This one's, in, this one's standing over there. That's over there. Here, chickens everywhere. There we go. We also have to use our imaginations and pretend there's some chickens inside these houses as well. There we go, yeah. Not all of them are gonna be out playing around, you know? Not all of them are gonna be doing stuff. Jeez, I got a lot of room left over here. Jeez Louise. Okay, we need a bullpen. 
Okay, I guess I could do that. Okay, I want you guys to be a part of what I'm doing here, so I don't want to do a whole lot off camera, which means this video is going to be a little bit longer than normally. But uh, what I'm doing here is I'm putting down grass, because I think cows and bulls and stuff like that will eat the grass. And we also need horses over here. And we're going to block them off at a fence as well. So some yellow horses, gray horse, brown horse. What is this? These are sheep. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got a lot of things to put down here. Some black horses. Okay, lots of horses here. Not too many, though, okay? I mean, oh, get out of here, little goat. Ooh, where'd he go? Whoop. Whoop. See, with the horses, guys, you can't pose them. So I know someone's going to ask if I can put their heads eating the grass, but you can't. That's not how that works. There we go, guys. I got it all fenced off here, basically. That out a little bit like that. Whoops. Bring that over here. And these right here, these are gates. So these open and in and open. So they can get in and out here. We're gonna need a gate over here as well, obviously. Okay, got a little gate here. A little chickadoos. Perfect, okay, so everything has gates. Everything can be entered and, you know, taken care of here. These guys are gonna eat the grass. You know, they do need some water though. I will put some water in there. I don't know if you need to. I'm, I'm assuming you actually would want to feed your, your horses and cows though. Be my guess here, but that's probably more than enough, yeah? <laughs> Check it out, guys. I added some hay right here. The pitchforks are laying on the hay like that. They're kind of propped up a little bit here. Kind of like that. Oh, we picked up a little bit there. We're actually gonna have them sticking in there, huh? Boop. Guys, like, I'm just gonna stick it in here for the day, the end of the work day. Uh, the water mill thing will go over here, not by the poopy water. But over here, you want water? You gotta kind of walk over here by the nice trees. And, you know, get some fresh water. That's how you get water. Okay, let's see here. We got the windmill over here. I think that's supposed to be facing the other way, though. Maybe like this. What we're gonna do... I think they have two normally, right? I'm not really too sure. There we go. We'll put one over here. -ish. Well, it ain't gonna fit there because of the corn. We'll put another one right here. Don't, it doesn't all have to be facing the same direction either. It could be a little diverse. You know, that's the best thing about this, make it kind of diverse. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good, yeah? And then, of course, we still have the water tower. And I'm going to go ahead and place that bad boy right there. There we go. I think that looks really good, don't you guys? Um... It looks a little empty over here, but... I mean, them is the breaks. <laughs> I'm not really too sure what else I could put here. I could actually probably make a little middle barnyard. Something like this. Oh, that looks so cool. Doesn't this look cool, guys? We need more people. That's what we need. We're missing people. Over here, guys, we have a chicken right here. And this little kid is chasing a chicken. That chicken got out of the coop. He's chasing the chicken. He's got to catch the chicken. I don't know if he ever will. Um, over here. She's over here. She's getting some fresh water. Maybe she's cooking dinner or something. Or maybe she's just a little thirsty. I, don't, I didn't ask her, you know. I'm letting her... You know, she's kind of doing her thing. Let's see. We need old the rancher, Papa Jones, over here. He's over here. He's kind of got his hands up a little bit. And he is chilling in the back of his pickup truck. You know what? Kind of looking over his farm. Just looking out into the wild. Seeing what things are happening. She's over here. She was attending the chicken coop. Yes. Okay, give me your hands, lady. You was attending the chicken coop. You kind of just have your hands on the gate right now. Kind of just looking at the chickens, making sure everything's going good. Making sure everything's, you know... Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, jeez, guys. I love this. This is Uncle... Uh, this is Uncle Bobby. He is, uh... Let's see here. So I can do this right. He is currently climbing up here. Uncle Bobby, what are you doing, dude? Nobody knows. He's doing Uncle Bobby things. <laughs> this, this is a little boy right here. And he's kind of, uh, he was over here with the hay. He was working on the hay. Oops, did I make him bigger? Eh, he could be a big boy. Then the hay, he just kind of puts us on back here. Do that. Okay. It's kind of chilling. It's chilling on the hay. Enjoying the nice day. And then, let's see, we need one more person here. This is a farm child. Oh, yeah, okay, so we'll make two more people here. Because I want to do something kind of cool here. We got a farm child over here being taught how to ride a horse you know she's like keep she's yelling at it keep your hands keep your hands on the horse don't let go <laughs> oh wow this is awesome 
We made this today, guys. It only took me an hour to do it, too. Well, I'm getting a lot faster, jeez. All right, guys, well, we're gonna go ahead and call this one here. The We can always add more to the farm. You know, we got sheeps and goats and stuff like that. We can make a little nice little patch of farmland, like maybe right here, a little farmland right here with more green grass if we wanted to. I think that'd be really cool. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Tiny Town. If you did, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below, like always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.